Hi everyone, this is Z here. If you're wondering why there's a picture of a llama looking at you, uh, we'll get to that in a moment. Um, but first, maybe just dial back a couple of months ago, um, I posted a article on how to run um, a workflow using both Python and Power BI that essentially takes uh, Microsoft Teams or Zoom meeting transcripts and creates a simple kind of a dashboard in Microsoft Power BI that allows you to look at um, basic text analysis of so frequency of words, um, sentiment scoring, who said what, when, uh, and it's quite useful um, in its own way. Um, but one of the challenges with that um, is the, although Power BI has this feature called Q&A, if you were to just try and run the Q&A naively and you were to ask a question like summarize the text, uh, it would get very confused and it wouldn't understand what it is that you're trying to ask it. Uh, and frankly, you know, that's not what it's designed for, at least not yet, uh, which brings me to uh, the problem of, you know, how do we get summaries of large volumes of text? Now, um, just to underscore how quickly this um, AI development has uh, has gone in the last few months, um, there's been a lot of uh, development in large language models. Uh, and this is AI that can look at and understand a lot of text. Uh, and you can see that Microsoft themselves, uh, this is a relatively recent article, are going to be incorporating some of these features natively into Teams. Um, so I don't have Teams Premium myself, but apparently uh, soon you'll be able to get AI notes and summaries of meetings uh, within Microsoft Teams itself without having to do it. Now, in the meantime, uh, if you don't have that feature, what can you do? So uh, one thing that you could try is uh, OpenAI has uh, released ChatGPT3, which is a uh, an amazing tool. Uh, so I tried to just stick all the text from the uh, meeting transcript and just said, summarize this into five simple bullet points. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I ran into a word limit um, because there is a limit to how long the prompts can be. So I started looking for alternatives on uh, how you can do summaries. And I stumbled on another Microsoft feature that I thought was really nifty and probably shows uh, how Microsoft has been um, trying to infuse a lot of their products with uh, native AI features. So if you go to Word and if you have a 365 account and you go to editor, uh, you will see there is a feature in editor now that's called um, text generation. If you click it, uh, what it does is it generates an automatic summary of the text. It does warn you that uh, it is only up to the first thousand words and it may not be factually accurate. So it's more a guide than a, a super duper automatic one, but it's still really useful. And, you know, I didn't have to pay anything for it. Well, I mean, I've got um, the word 365 um, subscription, but it's uh, really handy to have something like this. Now, um, for most people, this would be um, sufficient. And uh, the purpose of the video is actually to talk about uh, what if you want to do more. So sometimes you might have more than one document. So imagine if you have lots of these kind of transcripts and you're trying to compress uh, information from multiple transcripts. So you're trying to do more than just summarize. You want to find out stuff like um, what was the topic about, who said what, and uh, do it in a very natural way. So uh, Let's talk about an example where Tom Scott is a famous YouTuber and he's a very prolific uh, publisher of content. So what I've done is I've taken the last few videos that um, he's produced and I've gotten the transcript out of YouTube. So uh, it's an example here. So this is a transcript um, from one of his videos and I've got multiple video transcripts here, just four, just four the sake of uh, trying something out. And uh, we may want to try and summarize uh, the text, uh, or we may want to try and find other things uh, about all these videos. So you can't exactly do that using this uh, or ChatGPT3 in this form. But uh, if you have an OpenAI account, 
uh, and you know a bit of Python, um, you can use a really nice Python library called uh, Llama Index. And this goes back to why there was a picture of a Llama earlier. So Llama Index uh, comes from the large language model. So LLM sounds like Llama and that's why they've called it Llama Index. And it is a Python library that um, helps you deal with uh, working with large language models like OpenAI's ChatGPT family of uh, models. And it does a whole bunch of things beyond just summarization, like question and answering. So um, I will stick some code in the Medium article that will accompany this video, but uh, there are a lot of examples already within the help documents of Llama Index, and I'm just going to run through one example. So. Um, you do need your own API key, so I'm not going to cover that in this video. Now, this was the text um, from earlier. So uh, this was the same text from the video. Uh, and da -da -da -da. So I've stuck it in here. And uh, the basic one is summarized in five bullet points. So that kind of works when you have one document and uh, you, whoops, I think I need to do that first. Um, it kind of works when you have one document and you're just summarizing one piece of text. But if you have multiple, it gets a bit tedious, especially if you want to try and uh, not hit into that um, prompt limit, because there is also a similar limit, um, although it's larger than if you were to use it in this uh, chat function. So um, for Llama index, what you can do is uh, you import all the relevant libraries. You can load multiple documents. So this is going to load um, all four um, transcripts. And I'm going to save it into, uh, it's going to index it as well. And I'm going to save that index so that I don't have to run it again later. I'm going to load that index. And here uh, I have the ability to also tweak which model I want to use. So DaVinci Tree is in the family of ChatGPT. Uh, sorry, GPT-3 uh, um, large language models. And uh, I've done a bit of a, um, customization in terms of how many tokens and that's sort of like the uh, number of words. Uh, well, it isn't, not exactly, but close enough. Uh, and when you do that, you can uh, do summarization. So this is an example of a native summarization query where it's going to summarize um, all the documents that uh, were in that folder. So it's going to take a little bit of time. Now, uh, the speaker, so it doesn't do that good a job because it's, you know, they're all very different topics that he talks about in each uh, individual video. Uh, but the real power is if you want to find out things like example, there's this, pneumatic tube cafe that he talks about. And uh, you have a very specific question. Why did the cafe use pneumatic tubes? And if you click that and you read the response, it says the cafe used pneumatic tubes to quickly and efficiently deliver food orders. Uh, so going beyond summarization, you can also do things like um, um, what is the tone of all the uh, of the, all the text. So this is a little bit like sentiment analysis, but you know, you're asking the large language model to um, look at all the different videos and tell you uh, how they sound. So it's one of apprehension and uncertainty, a mix of enthusiasm for new technology. Um, and it's kind of interesting. Uh, so if you were to ask another question specifically, like say uh, from all these videos, you had something like uh, this box kills predators. Uh, which predator does the box kill? Because I'm too lazy to actually watch the video. Rats. So. Uh, it seems to work because uh, without having watched any of the videos, uh, I can ask questions about the content and the large language model um, will refer to an index that's been created 
uh, to, to answer it. So um, I hope this has been useful. Uh, I'll put links to all the stuff that we've talked about earlier in the video. And uh, hopefully um, you find this uh, something that you can apply for yourself. Thanks and bye.